guys, it's Ty here, and today I'm doing a mod spotlight video of the doggy talents mod. Wow, doggy talents. Okay, so these are my dogs so far. They follow me around because they're so awesome. And um, there's Cujo, my favourite. That's me. And Craig! Craig! Okay, so this mod has a lot of features in it that make the wolves have more sort of zest to them. I said to use that word. Um, so the first thing is you can actually feed, they actually have a health bar. Like, they actually have food so you have to feed them and the health goes up. And if it, they don't die anymore, they just become incapacitated and they can't use any of their abilities. So, yeah. Um, so this one's up full and he's set to do so. So to change him we need to get a sign. And I'll swap it with a right. Uh where'd he go? Oh there he is. Right, so now it's set to tactical. Now it's set to berserk. So if I spawn a creeper wherever the creepers are. Right, if I spawn a creeper, he will automatically go after it. But he automatically should go after it if I attack it. Oh wait, it doesn't count as a threat, does it? So I hit it. Oh god. Kill him! No, no, he doesn't want to kill him. Right, okay, for some reason they don't kill him. It's fine. Okay, right, so some of them have become incapacitated now, I'm guessing. But yeah, he's incapacitated, he's got an eye. Um, but for some reason his health bar still up, so he just basically died then. Um, so where's the one that's still alive? There should be one wolf that's still alive. Ah, oh, this one, right. Um, you can also play fetch with them by getting the throw bone, which is a bone that's two bones, and you just throw it. And then the not oh, sit just sit man. Go away. And then he should bring it back to you. And it should have drool on it. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to clean it with sand. So you can't use it till you clean it, which is gay. Um also you can now release your dogs by right clicking on them. And uh, no wait. I think I think you have to hit them with it a certain amount of times. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. But somehow you have to cut the collars with it to change them back to normal walls and then you can kill them. What? Right, okay, for some reason they're not dying. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, okay. Next thing. Right, to actually tame a dog. Oh, wait. To actually tame the wolves, you have to find one that you already have. Um, well, I don't have one, so I'm going to spawn one now. going to make all these sick. It's not feeling off. Right, there we go. So they're all set. So now I'm going to start on a completely new wolf. Um. Right, um, so we spawned him and now we're going to tame him with some bone. So now he's a normal wolf and then from a normal wolf we get our training tree. Oh my god, why have they all got back up? Oh my god, they've all became back capacity. Right, where is he? No, what, what are you doing? What's he doing? Okay, right, now he's a doggy talent stuff. So now, he's fine. And you just give them the training tree and they automatically become one. Um, to name them, you have to get a stick and you right click them. And you can call them... Tax. Tax. Right, and, you, and it has many different things you can um, <coughs> do to it. You can do wolf mount, where you can actually mount your wolf but for some reason. Oh no, I put hellhound. I didn't mean to do that. 
Okay, right, so now what you need to do is, since you've leveled him up to what you want, all the different abilities, you can, if you have another one, like this one, you, if you feed them both breeding bones, what the hell, what the hell, Josh, <laughs> what the hell's going on there? I give kicks one. Now they should breed, and they should create another normal wolf. It's a baby, and then you have to tame it again. You have to go through the whole taming process, but you can't just give them the normal bones now to breed them. You have to actually use a breeding bone, which is which is kind of annoying, I guess, if you because it requires more stuff and it gets on my tits on occasions. Um, so another thing you can do is set them to command beacons where you can have like stay commands and okay like come along it does so it's quite cool um what else is there there's the master tree the treat of all treats they're just chasing after their kid surrounding him right uh wait right there we go so if i right click him with this thing now i should be able to change him to because he's only got one. Right, where's my stable? And I will show you my glow-in-the-dark puppy that doesn't really glow in the dark very well. But it's meant to, because it's a glow thing. See how glowing that is, Josh? Can you see the glow radiate from him? <laughs> Look, he's meant to glow! But he doesn't. He's a fail of a light. But I love him. <laughs> but he's loved. <laughs> um, so that's really all the features to this mod. There's there's quite a lot. There's quite a lot more, but I've just given you a little taste of it. Um, go down it down. I was going to say go down it. Go download it in the link below. Um, it will be in the description along with some more mod spotlight videos. So thanks for watching and tune in for the next mod spotlights. Bye. Bye.